Hey, I'm Barry Bryant, a pharmacist and owner of Barney's Pharmacy in Augusta, Georgia. Hi, I'm Jake Geldo. I'm the clinical pharmacy educator for Barney's Pharmacy. When you look at it, I'll just hold it up to the camera for right now. This is what it looks like, and it's just a pair of glasses with a built-in camera and a optical mounted display. And what's really neat about it is it's hands-free. You can interact with life. Um, we can talk to our patients, and then all of a sudden we can just say, okay, glass, Google, whatever question we may have, to help us augment our practice and really care for our patients in a new and novel way. Another example of Google Glass would be for pill verification or prescription verification. Well, I mean, right now, out of the box, we've uh, looked at some of the capabilities as far as, you know, taking a photo, searching the web, but it's really got us just really excited about the possibilities of how we can do applications that will help us in our day-to-day -day task here at the pharmacy. There's tons of potential. I mean, that's what's got us so excited. From every aspect of daily pharmacy workflow, from interactions with our customer, to data input, to drug verification, uh, counseling, um, reviewing patient history, um, helping your delivery driver find your patient's house. I mean, they're just, it's, the list goes on and on and on. So I think what's exciting to me about the, the possibilities is, you know, out of the box, the hardware is neat. It's beta testing, so it's not quite what's new and novel. But when we look at it and we talk to some of our other employees around here, um, for Barry, it was like, Barry, we should do this, and the next day we got it. Um, with some of our residents here, we have two residents, one I talked to for about 30 minutes or so, I'd say, and got her really excited about it, and she couldn't wait for it to come in. The other resident was not excited at all. Bobby just hated the idea until he put him on, and then we sold him on the concept. And like Barry said, even from out of the box, we're able to sit there and say, okay, Glass, Google, what does lisinopril look like? And all of a sudden, we know what our tablet in our hand is without having to grab drug compendias, pull out our phones, look in the computer system. It's in our eyesight. It's in our view. We've experienced some of that already as far as, you know, you're walking around with a camera, you know, and like, well, are you, are you recording me? Um, and especially if you're talking about using it for interacting with your customers, um, you know, how that will be accepted and, you know, the privacy concerns and HIPAA. I think the HIPAA aspect is the biggest piece. Um, so we used the glass. One of our other pharmacists was just wearing them, and he said, okay, glass, take a picture, and it took a photo of me. And then we emailed that photo, and we opened it up, and Google, you know, pulled it up on another screen when we were looking on in a computer, and it said, is this photo of Jake Galdo? And I think that's part of the concern is, you know, if we use this for face recognition, will people be okay with that? Different types of technology already, and something as sim simple as counting pills that we do day in and day out, uh, we use technology that you, you pour the pills on a tray, and it can immediately identify the number of tablets, but just you pour the pills, you take a glance with the Google Glass, and boom, 60 tablets. I mean, there's, you can throw your spatula away. So it's, it's exciting to think about what some of the possibilities could be. Please visit us at drugtopics.com. Join us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.